All right, we'll start off with Mike Singer. Hey, Jim Michael, good to see you. Um, you guys are four and two in your last six. Other guys have talked about how you guys are getting closer and gelling. Where do you think you guys are at, you know, on the path to where you want to be? I think we're on the right path. You know, um, now that we've got to a full team, you know, Michael Floyd Jr. just came there. So I think uh, once he, he get to jail with us and, you know, we get that chemistry with him, I think we'll, we'll be unstoppable. We'll go to TJ McBride. Hey, Jermichael, it really seems like defensively has become the identity of that bench unit. I'm curious kind of how that came to be and if it was a natural progression or if that was a focus for you guys. Uh, it's something that we had to focus in on. Uh, we had a slow start off with the on the defense end and me and Monte, you know, we took it upon ourselves to, to help get that bench going and you know, to be the leaders on that on the bench mob. So, uh, you know, we take it upon ourselves to get the team going and you know, just to keep the lead or, you know, get us back in the game, right with the game going. We'll go to Mark Kisla. Hey, Jim Michael, you're obviously one of the, the, the new members of this team, uh, but an important member. Um, to what extent do you think you've been able to exert your personality and make an impact in that room and on that court at this point? And is that easy for you, difficult? Uh, take me through that a little bit. Pretty much easy. I'm not a big talker, um, so it's all about actions for me. So when I get out there, I just try to be that that ass fat to be the glue guy. You know, just try to make some hustle plays and bring the energy to the team. We'll go with Pat Graham. Hey, Jim Michael, how you doing? doing? Hey, uh, excluding the uh, Utah Jazz and Los Angeles Clippers right now, but it seems like it's hard to put together a five six game winning streak this season. Why is that? Um, we're still a new team. Um, I, I'll say from this is on the defense end. You know, once we start stepping up, getting kills, getting stops, you know, uh, we'll be we'll be unstoppable. Like I said, because the top five in offense is just our defense. Once we pick that end up and just give a consistent effort on that end, I feel like you know we get some some string of wins. And we'll go to Harrison Wind. Hey, Jamichael, for you, and if you can get a feel for the team, what's just the excitement level about potentially getting Michael Porter back uh, at some point during this upcoming trip and just adding his scoring, rebounding, playmaking to, to what you guys are building? Um, it's important. Some of the games we lost, if we was here, we, you know, we probably won. So, um, you know, it's, it's just good to be back to a full, health, healthy team. So that's what we're looking forward to. So now it's just time to build. We'll go to Chris Dempsey. Hey, Jim Michael. I mean, you're making it look easy out there on the court, but can you just update us on just how comfortable are you in the system right now and, and where, um, you know, how, how far do you want to, how much more do you have to uh, get used to and get comfortable with? Um, <clears throat> start, I'm, I'm getting comfortable. You know, everybody makes making it easy for me. And playing on, uh, alongside of Jokic, man, it's not that hard. You know, all you got to do is make shots and move without the ball. He'll find you. So um, he's making it easy for me. We'll go to Mike Singer. Hey, Jim Michael. Um, five games in, in, I believe, the next eight days. What do, what do you plan on doing on a road trip where, theoretically, you're not allowed to do anything? How do you pass the time for eight days? Um, you know, you FaceTime your kids. FaceTime your girlfriend, play the game, watch movies, watch shows. I mean, we got used to it in the bubble, so it's nothing new to us right now. We'll go back to TJ McBride. Hey, Jim Michael. I wanted to go back to Monte Morris because you said that you guys spoke about getting the bench unit back together. Could you shine any light onto what those conversations were like and what your relationship with Monte has kind of grown Not into? Not necessarily back together, but we uh, – we took it upon ourselves to be the leader of the bench mob. Uh, you know, he's a point guard. You know, he's a solid point guard too. I mean, he just does, he does all the right things, play hard, play defense, make the right plays. So, you know, I'm, I'm all about that. Me and him, we just took it upon ourselves to get the to get the bench going. You know, uh, when is our turn? You know, uh, just to keep us involved in the game. And like I said, we down to just bring that energy to get us back in the game. You know, uh, we just we take pride in that. 
All right, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Katie Wingie. Hey, Jim Michael, uh, you, you mentioned you're not much of a talker. I know Paul Millsap isn't much of a talker either. It's about actions and what, what you put on the floor. How much have you talked to Paul, though, about your minutes with that starting group, or do you just watch how he plays and the motions that he runs through and then build upon that? Um, really, I just watch him. Um, when I had my calf in injury, I would just, man, he, he'll get like 14, 12, 14 points so quick just moving, working the baselines, and he knocking down his threes. So I was just really watching the way he moved, picking at what spots he chose, and, you know, really just trying to follow his lead. He leading me by example, just by off of action. So uh, I'm paying attention, taking notes. All right, that'll do it, Jamichael. Thank you.